Oh man, it's another beautiful day in Seattle. Gloomy Seattle, man. You gotta love it, man. But today, see, man, we just hopping out of bed, man. I ain't gonna, I'm still a little crusty. But today, I got a special video for y'all, man. I don't know why I took a dramatic pause. But like I said, today, we're going coffee testing, man. You know, when you're in Seattle, you got to try the coffee. Like, this is what this town is known for. This city is known for coffee. Starbucks started out here. Y'all know how much I love Starbucks. So, I got to do it. I got to do it. Today, we're about to go to three of the, like, best review coffee spots in Seattle. And I'm going to just give my rating on them. Y'all know I'm a coffee uh, connoisseur. I like a good coffee. You know, this is how I like to start my morning, man. But make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. We on the road to 1K, bro. Y'all keep on doing y'all thing. And I'm going to be completely honest on the coffees. Like, I'm not going to try to be biased or nothing like that. Or um, Like I said, I'm going to just give my honest opinion. Like, if I like the coffee, I like it. If I don't, I don't. But we're going to try three of the top review coffees in Seattle, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video. And I, let me finish getting ready. I'll see y'all in a little bit. So look, y'all. I just made it to uh, Storybrooke Coffee House after about... 10 minutes of looking for this place. Right, this is supposed to be some of the best coffee. I'm gonna lie, it took me about 30 minutes to find this place. But it seemed pretty smooth. And I'm gonna just see what's the best thing to order. Simple as that. Like, what's the most commonly ordered thing that everybody loves here? I'm gonna try it out. Hi. So, what is like the most popular thing here that everybody kind of gets? Uh, our lattes are pretty popular. Okay. Uh, we keep a pretty simple menu and do it really well. Uh -huh. But we do make the coconut cashew milk in house as well as all of our syrups. So, the uh -huh. vanilla, the caramel, the dark chocolate, we make in house. Um, What's your favorite thing? My favorite thing is usually an Americano, but if I'm. I will do like a coconut cashew chai. Okay, can I do that? A coconut cashew chai. And would you like any espresso in it? Uh, no espresso, no espresso. And hot or ice cream? Um, hot please. So look, I just ordered, um, I forgot what I ordered. I'm gonna leave it down below what I ordered, but this is my first little taste test Storyville Coffee House out in Seattle, man. It's like a... I don't know what I ordered, man. I just, I just asked him like, what's his favorite thing here? And I'm gonna go with that. Then they gave me this little, uh, that's a smooth little mug. I'm gonna open that after, but I'm like low key excited for this. Like, my first coffee in Seattle. Like, okay, okay, okay. And this is kind of fire, I ain't gonna lie. It was like an oat milk coconut, like a coconut milk cashew something. He said a lot. I'm gonna leave it down below what it was, but bro, this is fire. Hey, I give this a 10 out of 10 automatically. 10 out of 10, bro, guarantee. Yeah, this, this right here, I don't even think I showed y'all. Like, whatever this was, this thing is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And I really don't like no cashews and stuff. I don't know, I wasn't a big fan of what he said, but I still said to get it. I'm gonna give it a try. And it gave me a free mug, bro. Like, I'm gonna open that at the end of the video at the house. But this right here, fine. So look, y'all, I just, let me take the mask off. Can y'all hear me? So look, I just left uh, Storybrooke Coffee. I want to give it like, I want to be like a hard grader. You feel me on my rating? But honestly, it was a 10 out of 10. I ain't even gonna lie. And they threw in a coffee mug too. So that's like a 12 out of 10. Like 
fire. Like I said, I don't know what I ordered, but bro said it in the uh, when I was recording it. So I'ma just leave that down below. The next up, we got um, I think this is it right here. What is the name of this spot? It's another little coffee shop in downtown. It's on Seventh and Olive. But let me find a name. It's called uh, Anchorhead. Anchorhead Coffee. So, just how we did Storybrook, we're gonna go on Anchorhead, ask what's the, like, the most commonly thing that's ordered, the best thing there, and we're gonna try it out. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? Um, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so, like, quick question, like, what's the most ordered thing here? The honey bunches of cold brew? Uh -huh. Oh, that sounds good, too. Can I get that, please? Honey bunches of cold brew. Um, let me see. Can I get the uh, banana loaf too? Uh, yes, please. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I get the uh, the vegetarian biscuit sandwich? Okay, y'all. So I ordered the honey bunches of cold brew, which is burnt honey, cinnamon, maple, cold brew, and oat milk. So I'm confused on what burnt honey is, but uh. We gonna figure it out. Should I get a cup from here too? I think from every place we try, we are gonna get a cup. And I'm gonna just gift them to the family. I ain't gonna get y'all none, not yet. Once we get to 1K subs, trust me, I got y'all with something. Just give me some time. Make sure I go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. The best coffee in Seattle. We gonna put this all to the test. Like, y'all known for coffee, so we gonna really test it. I like to, you know, we gonna push the limits real quick. Okay, y'all, so look. We trying this now. And I'm getting kind of hungry, so I got a little food item as well. I got a, a veggie, like, biscuit thing. So this is the first test of the, um, I don't know what I ordered again. Y'all seen what I ordered. I said it what I ordered. I said what I ordered too, so first test. Bro, what the? I like it, but I will have to say, let me see, I need another. I get that a nine, nine out of 10. Like it's fire, but I honestly, I, maybe because it's just personally, I wanted something hot. Lately I've been ordering a lot of hot stuff, but they didn't give me that, you know? So the most popular drink is the cold item, so I give it that, give it a nine out of 10. But for sure, fire. Easy, let me try this. Um, I got like a little veggie sandwich too. I told you, I'm getting hungry all this walking. Let me take a bite. I'm trying to, dang, show y'all. It smells good, though, I ain't even gonna lie. Mmm. It's like that. Kind of sweet, maybe because of bread. 10 out of 10 though. This is actually better than the Starbucks one. For sure. This tastes good. I'm on to the next coffee shop, man. Arrow, Anchorhead, I, why I say Arrowhead? Anchorhead on the uh, 7th and Olive. Nine out of 10, come check them out. Right now we're on our way to, the, well I'm here. I just time traveled. I'm not on my way. I'm here now. To the third third coffee shop, Mori Coffee Seattle. Yeah, Mori Coffee Seattle, man. I'm kind of excited. I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting kind of full on coffee. Like, I might be cool on coffee for the rest of the day, and I'll be back drinking tomorrow. But for today, I think I'm full. So let's go see what they got in store for us, man. Mask on. What future say? Mask off. Mask on. You feel me? Hi. Okay, quick question. What's like the the most ordered thing here? Um, cafe Madrid, the very first one. Okay, can I get that? Sure. The uh, just the eight ounce. Eight ounce. Anything else for you? Uh, no, that'll be it. Okay, y'all. So I just ordered the Cafe Madrid, which is a sweet and creamy latte inspired by Spain. She said this is the most like ordered thing here, the most famous thing here. So. We're about to give this a try. All right, y'all. So look at this, bro. Look at the y'all see the little bear. Remember? But oh 
man, I don't know why I just got nervous. Cause I just don't want to mess up the bear. Like, come on now. Like, I ain't trying to mess with nobody's artwork. But, for me, I'll try to put my mask down so I don't look goofy. But first sip, this gonna be a hard one because uh, the other two was, what? First one was a 10 out of 10. The other one was a nine out of 10. Hey, last but not least, let me see. It's a little on the strong side. Dang, I messed up the bear. It's a little bit on the strong side. Um, I'm up. I'm about to get this guy an eight out of 10, which is still pretty good, but it's just a strong, it's just a very strong coffee. But I actually like it though. Like, maybe if there was something else in it, like a little bit more, but 8 out of 10 for sure. But it's still good though, it's still very, 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 very good. So y'all, look, I finally made it back to the room. I told y'all, I'm going to show y'all what mugs I got from um, from the different coffee shops. I don't, Mori, Mori, I hope I'm pronouncing them right. The last coffee shop I just went to, I just showed y'all, they didn't have no coffee mugs. But this is from... Um, anchor head so this one was pretty tight um i'm probably just gonna be gifting these to everybody in my family um uh, but yeah like they gave me a little sticker and everything too but this one like i said because it was a cold brew and i was kind of feeling more of a um since it's already cold out here i kind of wanted something a little bit warmer you feel me but anyway i get that one a, um a nine out of ten it was fire. I really think it's the almond milk because I've been on almond milk lately. Did that one have almond milk? I don't know, but I didn't taste none of the burnt honey. I was hoping to get more of a honey taste more than anything, but I didn't really get that. But, you know, that was still one. But my favorite one was the Storyville. Storyville coffee, like, fire. 10 out of 10. It was like a, um, it was a coconut cashew. Um, and I don't even like coconuts, you feel me? I don't, I'm not a big fan of coconuts, but I do like coconut strength for whatever reason. But like, you put me like, give me like some coconut water. No, I hate coconut water. You give me um, just like some straight coconut and like my, you know, like actual actual fruit or whatever. I hate it. I hate, is coconut a fruit? Or is it like one of them things like a, uh, like you know how tomato is a fruit technically? Like is it, I'm pretty sure coconut is a fruit. What am I talking about? But with that being said, man, it's a wrap. These are the three best coffee shops in downtown Seattle that I found, you know, being an out-of-towner. Um, and they were all good, so go ahead and check them all out. Leave a thumbs up on this video, and I'll see y'all next time for another video, man. Subscribe. Peace. I'm out.